Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. I am too. Eric here as usual, beard mustache on point, which means I'm going to have a good day, and I hope you do too. Before we jump too far into things, uh, thanks for coming, and if you could subscribe, that would be great. Like and share these videos if you can. Really motivates me to keep doing some of this stuff and to continue on making uh, other content as well. So uh, it's really simple, really easy. If you could subscribe, that would be really helpful. And if you can, share it also would be great too. Uh, helps the channel grow and again, kind of motivates me to keep doing this stuff. But uh, what I want to share with you today is I got a chance to meet with Craig Morrison over at Art Morrison. That's his dad. And uh, he created Art Morrison Chassis. And uh, he gave me a lot of the history. They started off making custom drag racing parts and individual things. And they still do a lot of that. But they started moving into chassis as well. And uh, it's just some of the really cool stuff that they have. And I got a personal tour from Craig himself. Craig and I have uh, kind of known each other off and on for, for a while now. And I got a chance to go down uh, to his area, check out his shop, do some filming. And he let me film a lot of things. There's one thing that I couldn't film because it's a brand new part. And you'll see it at the very end. And I talk about it and I say, oh, there it is. I can only show you from the outside. But it's super cool because I want to describe what it is. It is a, a when you've got a sway bar, yeah, it's kind of got these weird shapes. And he's got these chassis that are really tightly put together. And they're really cool works of art. And I'm going to show you some of it. It's super neat. And uh, what it is is the sway bar doesn't fit one piece snaked its way in there. So what they did was they created a... A coupling, so you have a, a, a sway bar in two pieces, and uh, what it does is it, it, it couples together the two ends of the sway bar in the middle and also looks really good. And what they've done some testing and found that it it's virtually um, like one giant piece of sway bar, So, uh, but it's easier to kind of get in and out without having to remove half half the darn chassis. So uh, that's really cool. They've got a ton of different machines that I want to show you. One of my favorites is the dual lathe machine. So you'll see it. You'll, you've got one coming in this way and then one coming in this way. This one gets worked on. This one gets worked on. And then it spits out a part uh, on the other end. And it, uh, it, it's, it's really neat uh, to see how this machine works. I didn't get a ton of uh, time to spend there filming every single bit of the machining process, uh, just enough to kind of get a sense of what they do, just because, I don't know, I love machinery. I think I think it's really cool how stuff gets built, and how I edited this um, poorly, I'll admit, <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, video editing is not my strong point. Uh, so I'm, I'm learning and I'm getting better at it as we go. Uh, the one thing that I don't want to point out is I tried to film it as though uh, the process in which a person builds a chassis because they're all slightly different. And Craig told me they do about 500 of these per year and along with all the individual components that they sell, which I thought was pretty neat. So um, you'll see kind of in the beginning kind of the parts warehouse and then you'll see parts being manufactured and then you'll we'll switch over to the frame shop so you'll see a bunch of uh bare frame pieces that are there there's a bunch of jigs and a bunch of other things so there's three buildings there's the main building with the parts and they package everything up and then we move on to the machining shop where they've got six or seven uh cnc machines uh, a bunch of haas machines and a, a dunin i think um, you know, really, you know, really getting in there. So Craig, it really was nice, uh, really gracious. Uh, I couldn't say any more nice things about just, you know, how open he was to show me the process and everything he does. So I want to say a big thank you to him. Really appreciated his time showing me around. It was, you know, probably the better part of an hour. He let me kind of just poke, poke around at the shop and see all the really cool toys that he has. So uh, I hope you enjoy it uh, as much as I did. And uh, thanks a lot uh, to Craig. Very much appreciated. Uh, if you haven't already, check out his website. Uh, and, uh, you know, they, they make some really cool stuff. So again, thanks to Craig and uh, all his staff for letting me kind of poke around and ask them a bunch of questions and, and see some of their process. So enjoy. <laughs>
tell me what this thing does. Yes, yeah, so what this can do is it can either compress or extend with up to 60,000 pounds of force. Oh, geez. Yeah. Uh, this dial here, yep. uh, right now it's set at 1,200 pounds, or actually, I'm sorry, 12,000 pounds. You can switch it to 1,200, and each hash mark on that wheel represents a one pound increment. Oh, wow. Uh, then you can go to 12,000, and then you can go up to 60,000 pounds. And you can pretty much break anything that you want <laughs> with this. Yeah. So what this is here, yeah. uh, we're working on our own in-house welding certification program. Right. And this is a, two pieces of material that one of our welders uh, welded together, we put it in this machine and then we just did a linear pull test on it. Right. And as you can see here, the material actually failed before the welded seam failed. So the welder did a pretty good job. Exactly. All right. CMM device, yep. and the stylus here, you can just touch it off on parts, make sure that it's within tolerance of uh, the drawings, mm -hmm. and uh, we used it for quite a while as a reverse engineering tool to go ahead and dimension chassis and that kind of thing. Uh, you can leapfrog it down the frame, getting dimensions here and there, kind of create this, this cloud of data points, but the one thing that we sort of replaced with that is uh, the Creaform 3D laser scanner. Oh yeah, and this, that's a fun toy. This is sort of the new the new piece for being able to dimension and, and gather information on chassis and floor pans and firewalls and all right. that sort of stuff. And this tool can dimension things that this can't. Sure. Um, and so this has been a, a spectacular piece. We. Uh, We've gone off-site with it all the way down to California, uh, scan vehicles down there, mm -hmm. come back with that data, and uh, that's that's been a, a very, very positive uh, tool for the engineering department. So the, the, there's the before, so this right? This is the before. It's just a, a piece of uh, aluminum uh, material, and, and this, then that's, that's, the, that's what it that's what it turns into. Exactly. Nice looking, and this is kind of what it is in process. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one you can take pictures of because I don't think anybody be crazy enough to copy us. <laughs> So you can see the components here, and then the, the final product is up there on the rack. Everything else is out there. It's a multi-link design that's housed in its own cradle assembly. Yeah. And so this cradle here, uh, there's two points on, on either side that wind up bolting up into the chassis. And uh, what's great about it is that guys can go ahead and install it in unibody cars. They can put it into existing aftermarket frames. Yeah. We've had customers retrofitting this into existing Art Morrison frames. <laughs> uh, so A 62 Corvette. The middle chassis is a 57 Chevy, mm -hmm. and then the bottom frame is one of our A body platforms. Yes. It gets locked into place, 
They can weld everything on this side, and then with the windows actually in the jig, they can flip this. This is what you're going to do with your uh, new C10 chassis then? Or? Exactly. So this this is going to be the prototype for the 73 to 87 uh, square bodies. Nice. Yeah. So you're going to turn this thing, which is... Into this thing. In, in, into that, right? With so Because it commemorate 50 years of Art Morrison. Correct. Right? Exactly. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah. We're, yeah. I'm, I'm stoked about it. Quite the, uh, as I say, the quite the lower design there, but yeah. Yeah. If you look, there's that, there's that part right there. We can't, we can't show anybody. <laughs> well, I can show yeah. you what it looks like on the outside. Yeah. 